Hello and welcome to our Meet the Artist series. Today I'm here with Hayden Haynes. Welcome, Hayden. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So just jump right in. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your background as an artist? So I, my name is Hayden Haynes and I'm from the uh, Anon de Wagat uh, people, which is uh, most people know it as Seneca, from the Seneca Nation, which um, we have three uh, territories down in Cataragas, which is about 20 minutes south of Buffalo. And then we have a couple of other ones that are a little further south. So I'm from Cataragas and I carve antlers. Um, that's um, my artistic uh, passion. Awesome. So yeah, your art is, you know, really unique, especially because you are doing this carving and working with antler and bone. So what would you say inspires a lot of your artwork? Um, I'm inspired by two things. Um, I'm inspired by what I see and what I don't see. So sometimes it's like, what I see happening in the world, maybe I might do a commentary piece on that, but I'm also inspired by what I don't see. So I don't really want to do what other people have done in the past or are doing right now. So I'm trying to always uh, be creatively different. Um, but I think what makes um, uh, the, the antler and bone carving unique is that, um, and what I try to do is revitalize it in a sense that there's not a lot of people doing it. And I don't think it's been fairly or appropriately represent, represented in uh, museums and in any cultural institutions. A lot of them that are tasked with um, uh, showing Hadina Sony culture, uh, material culture. So oftentimes it's, you know, beadwork and it's, uh, you know, basketry and pottery and wampum and that type of stuff. That's what gets focused on. But uh the, and so oftentimes when people see or see that I carve antlers, they're like, well, what is that? And maybe wondering, well, why, why do you do that? Or, you know, but it's actually, there's a cultural significance related to the material that predates any of those other material objects that get uh, highlighted. And it's a material that has a lot of cultural relevance, cultural uh, meanings, in, in addition to just being a material that you can use to make um, aesthetically pleasing things too. So it's important to, that I always try to let people know that it has value in more ways than just uh, whatever somebody may presume, I guess. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So with COVID-19, you know, I feel this is a pretty individual art, um, you know, practice that you have in creating it, but even just exposure, you know, how has COVID affected your ability to, to get your artwork out there or even to create it? Um, well, for me, I, uh, it actually helped with a lot of uh, things. I was able to sort of find these up and coming groups that sort of have started, people started making when COVID started, a uh, little like art markets online and, and different things like that. So I got on board on some of those and, um, you know, it really, uh, social media wise and as far as reach, Last year was actually probably the best year I've had in terms of that type of reach. So that was great. You know, it slowed back down again, you know, probably for most people, just because, you know, a lot of those groups are don't have a, they may still have the following, but they don't have the uh, same type of interaction with uh, people are taking less interest in that. And they're either moved on to another account or they are, you know, just more, more worried of getting back to normal life now. So. But it was a good year, I guess, is basically what I was trying to say. Yeah, honestly, um, through this, and that's a question I ask a lot of artists, that's what I get a lot of times is that it was kind of a reflective period and it helped you kind of understand more of what you want to do and how how you want to get your work out there. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, what are you currently working on that you're excited about? Um, yeah, I, I am working on this. Uh, well, there's two things. This uh, background that you see there, these are a pair of comb earrings that I made in to honor the uh, children um, that attended uh, residential boarding schools. Um, there was a residential Native American residential boarding school on our, our territory in Cataragas, so that makes it kind of unique. Um, and so I made these earrings, which are in the background, and they kind of are symbolic, different elements mean different things related to our culture to pay homage to those children. And so what I did is I used those earrings and I um, 
partnered with a fellow community member. Um, her name is Jocelyn Jones, and she uh, modeled these earrings for me at different parts of our territory. And then we did a social me media post about the um, a little bit about the the school and stuff to kind of raise awareness. That ballooned into this whole other thing where now it's a uh, full on exhibition with um, you know text and and art, different artwork. Not my not my artwork, but I basically curated this uh, exhibit to kind of help really tell that story and offer uh, a, a time for healing, I guess, a mo few moments of healing for those who are maybe see the uh, exhibition. So that's a big project and it actually opens on September 30th on our Cattaraugus territory. So that's, that's, that's a big project. Awesome. Uh, when did it go through September 30th through when? Well, right now it's going to be at the Sully Huff Heritage Center uh, on our territory until August 5th, or October 15th. And then after that, it'll probably um, go to the Seneca Iroquois National Museum, which is in Allegheny. So I invite people, it's open to the public, you know, I don't know when you said you're airing this, but um, those are the two most uh, times that will be in the near future. Awesome, yeah. Um, so we have that on where people can find you and actually find your art, you know, in person now, but where else, where can people find you online, social media? Uh, yeah, so like my Instagram, uh, Hayden's underscore antler underscore creations. Um, or my website, www.haydensantlercreations.com, or my Facebook page, Hayden's Antler Creations. Um, those are the main places for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. Um, really appreciate it. And it was awesome to learn more about you and what you've got going on. I appreciate it.